start. Hi, I'm Sophie DeFreitas. This is Mark Curley, Jacob Nudell, and Milo DeBacker, and we are fat, or the number crunchers. Our business concept is called Fast Snacks and will be located in Sierra Trading Post locations. So our presentation will be focusing on the Newton store. So our business idea is to sell quick and nutritious snacks to Sierra Trading Post consumers who enjoy camping, hiking, and other outdoor activities. We are looking to expand the food selection in Sierra Trading Post with easy, quick, and on-the-go bites. This summer, my cross-country team had our training camp in New Hampshire. One of the days, we hiked the White Mountains, and we all got really tired halfway through the hike. It would have been really great to have a fast snack, such as a bar or jerky, to fuel us for the rest of the eight-mile hike. Now Mark is going to talk about our product description. So we're focused on selling healthy, easily accessible snacks to eat on the go without preparation, including beef jerky, dried fruit, and energy bars. Our target market focuses mainly on current Sierra Trading Post customers, but also anyone who enjoys outdoor recreation. Our products will be sold from a kiosk placed next to the checkout registers inside the Sierra Trading Post location in Newton, Massachusetts. So up on the screen, we have some of the brands we will offer. So now, Mahu, with our value proposition. Concerning our value proposition, our product will allow Sierra Trading to have a stronger presence on the food and um, snack market to better compete with other brands. Moreover, our customers will have a better and a more diversified complete snack. So, and to identify, um, uh, in order to identify uh, the unmet needs for customers and to determine our demand for our product, we performed a survey uh, using the Google Forms. Now Sophie will talk about the consumer needs. So our survey consisted of 161 respondents and 11 questions ranging from how old people were to the prices they're willing to pay for the products we'll be selling. So one of the questions we asked was when shopping for these snacks, what is most important to you? And our two highest respondents were how healthy the food is and how tasty the food is. So from the producers we'll be buying from, such as RX Bar and Jack's Links Jerky, these are two um, needs that they are guaranteed to meet so we can ensure that we are meeting the needs of our consumers. Another question we asked was when doing these outdoor activities, what types of foods people bring? And healthy snacks such as fruits and bars and protein filled snacks such as protein bars and jerky were the two highest responses to this question. So again, it just further emphasizes that we're meeting the unmet needs of the consumer. So now Jacob will talk about the benefits to Sierra. For Sierra Trading Post, uh, we will be providing them money for the rent within their store, which is the 7.5 square feet of space that our kiosk will take up in their store near the checkout, as well as the portion of our profits, which we will be providing them with 5% of our profits, totaling after three years to be $18,550. Also, um, Sierra Trading Post um, does not sell any of these types of snacks in their store as of now, and so Fast Snacks will be able to provide these snacks for Sierra Trading Post and help them dive into the healthy snacks industry, which is worth $32.88 billion. On top of that, Fast Snacks is going to be providing these energy-filled yet simple snacks, which is better than what Sierra's competitors can provide for their customers. Now to talk about some more types of industry data. In 2018 alone, the global healthy snack market was $23 billion. In 2016, US jerky total revenue was $2.8 billion. U.S. dried fruit revenue for 2018 was $4 billion, and for energy bar industry, it's estimated to be worth $5.5 billion, which is all the way up from $2.8 billion in 2014. And below are the respective estimated cagers from 2019 to 2024. Now I will turn it to Mark for target market. So we have an inverted pyramid to help break down our target market. At the top layer, we found the population of every town within a 20-minute driving radius of our noon location. We then broke this number down by 49%, as this is the percentage of Americans who have participated in outdoor recreation in the past year. We then went again and broke it down uh, by about 60%, <coughs> as based on our survey, we found that our target age group is around the ages 15 to 38. We next determined, again from our survey, that um, the population, out of the population of our age group, our target age group, realistically, only about a third of these people actually do shop at Sierra Trading Post. And then finally, we got down to our final number of 9,000 customers at startup, and this is based on our survey respondents who were likely to purchase our products. So now, Maho, with our competition. So our competitors are Bike Country, Bicycle Shop, Coleman, Gabriela's, REI, and Eastern Mountain Sport. 
those companies are seen as a competitive threat because they have a larger customer base and um, more stores. However, as you can see, those companies do not sell at the same time uh, jerky, energy bars, and dried fruit. So in a way, we can be better than them because we have seen that our customers are interested in tasty and healthy snacks. Now, Mark will talk about the marketing plan. So we're focused mainly on impulse buys. What this means is when customers finish shopping at Sierra Trading Post, they'll head towards the checkout registers, and they'll notice our kiosk next to the registers. <clears throat> so all our advertising budget is actually going to be spent towards uh, digital marketing, and specifically pay-per-click advertising on Facebook and Instagram. The rates for pay-per-click advertising actually depends on the target age group that you're looking for. So for us being that's 15 to 38, the cost per click comes down to about actually $1 on both Facebook and Instagram. In the first year, we're going to be spending $3,000 towards pay-per-click advertising, the second year $4,000, and the third year $7,000. So here are sale prices for each of our products. So for jerky, we're going to be selling about $12 per unit. Dried fruit will be sold at $8 per unit, per unit and energy bars will be sold at around $4 per unit. So since we are focused on impulse buys, our customers are all going to be shopping at TJX, or at, sorry, at Sierra Trading Post. And so we don't have a competitive price advantage because uh, our customers will already be inside our store. So now, Jacob with financials. So first here, I'm going to talk about the net profit that we have, followed by uh, explaining our revenues, our expenses, and then our capitalization requirements. So here, our net profit in year one is 25000 or net loss is $25,000. In year two, we have a net loss of $43,000, but in year three, we're able to turn a profit of just over $8,000. To break down our revenues, uh, jerky, as we've said, is going to be sold for $12, which we purchase at $6 for a profit margin of 50%. Dried fruit, we sell $8, we purchase for $1.65, giving us a profit margin of over 75%. Energy bars, we will be selling at $4 a unit, we purchase each unit at $2.40, which is under 50% uh, percent profit margin. The reason that we are expecting to be selling a large quantity of the energy bars and the dried fruit is because we understand that most of our customers are going to be impulse purchasing our goods. So we can expect that those impulse buys will be of the smaller uh, priced goods. Our expenses, our startup expenses, which are $37,000, include paying for our rent to see our trading, setting up our kiosk within the store, paying our salaries, as well as paying for advertising. Other expenses that we have throughout the years are the salaries, the rent, the office storage space, which is um, going to be provided, uh, cost of goods sold, and our other expenses, which include shipping, advertising, insurance, and um, um, taking into account any miscellaneous expenses. Capitalization requirements. Um, the difference between our capitalization requirements and our net losses per year is that we've also factored in uh, $5,000 to be used for our starting cash for the following year. Each, the starting cost, the starting year, year one and year two, we will all need to take out additional loans. 50% of that will be taken by the bank and the other will be equally distributed between the team as well as friends and family. I will now turn it to Mark for operations and supply chain. So we buy all of our, we'll be buying all of our products wholesale from Alibaba online. We'll have an office space, which is where we will store our products, and it has 341 square feet, and it's located at 236 Hemingway Street in Boston. Uh, we will be each personally transporting our products from the office space to Sierra Trading Post. We'll also have displays, which will cost, at, uh, cost us around $4,000, including shelving units and our sign and customers will pay us uh, at our cash register at the kiosk. So now, Sophie with Human Resources. So our HR team is comprised of Maua, COO, Marcus, CMO, Jacob, the CFO, and myself, as CEO. Along with our main roles, we will all also be working in the kiosk and in our office space. At this time, we will not need to hire any additional employees. Now, Maui, to conclude. To conclude, Fast Snacks will be selling energy food and um, accessible and healthy snacks on the go, very useful for people practicing uh, outdoors activities. It will allow Sierra Trading to have a stronger presence on the, in, in the food industry, and uh, our customers um, will have a um, more diversified and complete selection of snacks, which will be healthy and tasty. And finally, 
our um, our total net income uh, over the three-year period will be providing to start trading eighteen thousand five hundred fifty dollars.